Ryan with Miss.Geek here. And today we're going to take a look at some interesting QRP Labs news. And there's actually several items to cover, so we'll get straight into it. By the way, this is my website, Miss.Geek.com. If you haven't been there, go check it out. There's this, also this cool thing that you can do where it says here, uh, buy me a coffee. If you like this stuff, you want to support the channel, you want to support, you can go to buy me coffee and, you know, click a button, buy a coffee. And, uh, you know, just one more way you can support. I appreciate anything. Uh, but you don't have to do that. What you should do, though, is watch the rest of the video. So what I'm going to do is get rid of my ugly mug and get to what we're talking about here. So, bye. Uh, <laughs> and let's get into the next thing. So QRP Labs has been pretty busy. And what they've been doing is working on the next batch of QDX. Yes, the QDX version 3 uh, is out. And so this QDX uh, revision 3, rather, not version 3, but QDX revision 3 is, is here. Uh, he's opening sales, 1800 Zulu, Sunday, May 1st, 2022. That works out to 11 a.m. Pacific uh, if you're in the U.S. or um, uh, 2 p.m. Eastern in the U.S. on Sunday, May 1st. So uh, the QDX has some changes that have been made to it. Um, and the, the reason for those changes is to uh, just basically uh, update the uh, features a little bit and also um, uh, do some redesigning to uh, integrate some parts they or they had to change to make it to make this even possible. Because of the parts shortage, the ADC and the microcontroller that were in use, are no longer uh, available. So he had to redesign it. So rather than rehash all that, I'm gonna, I'll am gonna i put the link to this below, but this is the uh, uh, link here. Uh, also, and this describes everything that was done. So there's some great stuff there, some really nice changes. There's a PTT output. Um, also uh, has pads for band zero, band one, to select the the bandpass filter band and LPF012 uh, that switch the LPFs. So this is good for driving external equipment. So if you have an external PA uh, and you have external um, uh, low pass filters, then you can make use of them by signaling them through these, uh, uh, pa these pads that are on the board. Uh, there's also a high, more high performance ADC in use and so that's really oh there's a, that looks the ptt connector and anyway so you go through and read all this I'll, I'll leave that to you there's also a video that you can watch uh you'll notice the price did go up it's now 66 dollars uh to cover things like adding this uh ptt port here and you know the increased cost so uh hans says that they that there are um two thousand of them and he's initially releasing 1,900 for sale. This is a good move because uh, his cart in the previous uh, sales he had, uh, this cart was so overwhelmed that it actually oversold. Um, I asked him about it. He said what was happening was that the cart was um, only updating. I think he said it was updating on checkout rather than updating it on adding to the cart. It was updating the inventory on checkout only. So what would happen is uh, there could be there could be five available but eight people got to add it to the cart, for example. Uh, so um, it's kind of, a, kind of a tough nut to crack. So he's making sure that everybody gets one, nobody has to wait. Um, it says he'll keep 100 reserved for failures during uh, flashing and testing here, uh, any over orders and such. So that's a good thing. Um, so by the way, and by the way, here's a picture of the revision three uh, here's those pads that we we're talking about, and uh, this is a, a definitely a, a, a different layout. Slightly, well, not huge, but a slightly different layout than Revision One. Um, and of course, because it's the new revision, there's no fancy stuff you have to do with inductors and soldering stuff on the back of the board and everything. Uh, so here's one shot of it. Here's another. There's that PTT uh, port here, so that you can control an external uh, amplifier. So overall, uh, looking forward to this. We will be getting one. Uh, well, <laughs> I got to go through the ordering process, but 
we were able to get one before, so I hopefully we'll be able to get one again. But when we do, you can be sure I'll be building it on the channel and doing a build series on it because it's going to be sufficiently different that, you know, why not? It'll be fun. Uh, let's see. Now, there's more. There's also... Uh, Hans says, on the initiative of my charming and wonderful x a.k.a. CEO, CFO, COO, etc., we have produced QRP Labs Wear for all your Q real QRP Labs... for all you real QRP Labs fans. Uh, so... If we go over to their site, shop.qrplabs.com slash wear, uh, there's a polo shirt, a dry fit shirt, a cotton shirt, uh, a t-shirt, a mug, and a cap. So uh, I'm aiming to get a mug. And the uh, the polo shirt, uh, the cotton polo shirt here, uh, it goes up to 3XL. They all go to 3XL. And I'm hoping that's a very generous uh, 3XL, because I'm kind of a 4XL kind of guy. We we, we can hope. Um, <laughs> nothing else we can stretch. <laughs> anyway, so for the for the fluffier of you watching, you understand. Uh, and for everybody else, you don't want to understand. So, uh, let's see. What else? Oh, yeah. So, that's really cool. I'm really glad that Hans has done this. Um, I'm also really looking forward to getting a Curapy Labs mug. I, I love mugs because I love coffee. And uh, I love, like, most people don't understand what my love of coffee is actually like. It's a real, genuine uh, affection that is uh, uh, unmatched. <laughs> so, and here's a shot of our hero, Hands, of QRP Labs, wearing his QRP Labs polo shirt, and drinking from his QRP Labs uh, <laughs> mug. Um, all right. There you go. So that's pretty cool. I'm, I'm pretty happy to see that. And these prices are low. I mean, you go, you go to buy merch from any uh, YouTuber or anything. Their their shirts are 25 bucks. Their mugs are 15. These prices are easily half. So um, pretty cool. Thanks for doing that, Hans. Um, so he's also got a video about the uh, uh, QDX Revision Three being out. So I'll post a link to that below. Uh, last but not least is something kind of unrelated is the UR U4B Balloon Tracker. This is so cool. Um, I do have one of these on the way as well. Or I, I should say I will when I, do, when I get my order in. Um, to me, it's, it's, it's as good as done as far as I'm concerned. But this is the Ultimate 4 for balloons. It's a low-cost, lightweight, feature-packed, flexible, high-altitude high balloon tracker with applications for hobbyists, researchers, education, and more, the PCB is ready assembled. Weighing only 1.8 grams and measuring just 33 by 12.7 millimeters without the USB protrusion, uh, which is this USB protrusion right here. And if you look here, it's designed to be broken off before flight. So this thing has a GPS built in. Uh, well, let's, let's look at this here. Um, a 32-bit ARM microprocessor or microcontroller using QDOS. So it's it's actually uh, programmable in BASIC. Uh, 128K disk, 27 milliwatts uh, transmitter using the SI5351A. A TCXO reference frequency stability. That's pretty awesome because uh, in the, if this is going to be on a balloon several miles up, the temperatures are going to fluctuate wildly which means that the uh, a crystal would fluctuate in frequency quite a bit. So having a TCXO means that um, you got to spend less weight um, on insulation for a crystal. So that's pretty cool. Uh, band coverage, 2200 meters to two meters. Um, an LM75 temperature sensor is built in. It's got a status LED, USB interface for configuration programming, and easy firmware update. Just drag and drop the firmware just like you would on a QDX. Uh, free firmware updates for life when enhancements are developed as the use cases expand. Now here's a, this is where it gets really neat. 19 GPIO pins, of which 9 can be configured as analog inputs, and 8 are easily accessible via PCB edge pads. All 19 can be used as digital input or output control pins. I2C bus for connecting additional sensors, like for pressure, humidity, whatever, uh, basic programming language, uh, command line utility, telemetry over whisper for relaying your additional sensor data. 
Yeah, so it can do uh, Cure P Labs tracking and telemetry over Whisper, which he has on the website. So uh, if we go, let's see here. Um, he has that here somewhere. Let me look real quick. Oh yeah, tracking right here. Um, so we'll, we'll check that out in a minute. So he's got he's got a tracking setup already, which is really neat. Um, can do so it can do whisper along with the, his uh, tracking telemetry, which he can track on his website. Also, uh, whisper JT9, uh, JT65, Hellschreiber CW, and customized glyph patterns can produce a unique identifier on QRSS. Um, so it was originally gonna be 50 bucks, but it's more because you know everything is more expensive now. So 59 bucks, still a great, great, great deal. So he says, if you use the built-in QRP Labs telemetry over Whisper system for tracking, your balloon flight will occupy one of the 600 telemetry channels. That is to say, up to 600 balloons could fly this system concurrently without any possibility of interference with each other. After configuring your, the U4B with your amateur radio call sign, you can set up your own Kirby Labs website flight page in your Kirby Labs shop account. Your balloon will then appear in the flight list here, which is here, which is currently empty. And you can click the flight link to see your, your own tracking page. Your flight tracking page shows your last telemetry update, tracking map, and will provide links for downloading the entire data set belonging to your flight. Uh, that's amazing. Um, that's just absolutely amazing. And so um, uh, Dave uh, Victor Echo 3, Kilo Charlie Lima has been working on this with hands for a long time. And so um, he's been uh, uh, instrumental in the development of it. So there's more information here. Um, what am I going to do with it? I'm not sure yet. Um, I have long wanted to do what I call a, um, a an Earth satellite. Um, and what I mean by that, like if I was an alien wanting to understand more about Earth and all I had was one of these, uh, what would I do with it? Um, I would probably, you know, put it somewhere and try to power it for a long, you know, kind of like we, kind of like we do with the Mars probes, you know, like an Earth probe. I think that's probably a better, um, a better description. So that means, you know, either somewhere, somewhere out in the desert or somewhere out in the forest with, you know, a solar cell and um, a battery and, you know, trying to, you know, measure stuff. I, I don't even know what, maybe a remote weather station uh, or um, I thought about, you know, even trying to get like a really rudimentary picture sent over like once a day, but um, that would have to be, <laughs> um, you know, a, 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 you get six six bits um six bytes or six bits i think it's six bits on a two minute whisper um uh telemetry uh transmission so to send enough bits to get a picture would take days uh, to get one picture and it probably wouldn't even work so that's probably out but um you know there's got to be other things and so if you have ideas for what to do with it uh, please let me know in the comments below um uh, there's also the possibility of actually using it what it's intended for, which is a, a balloon flight. It'd be really, really cool to have, you know, a Mistock Geek uh, balloon circumnavigating the globe and, uh, you know, doing cool things. Uh, I So that, anyway, that's about that. That's about it for that. Thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Uh, again, uh, my website is mistockgeek.com. Look below for links there also to everything I've shown you here. And if you enjoyed this and you appreciate the content, well, gosh, you know, you can go click on buy me a coffee and I'd sure appreciate it. So thanks for watching. Take care. And let me know in the comments below what you think. Take care. Did I say take care enough times? I think I did. <laughs> okay. Bye now.